doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You gave me a good series. I had a nice little binge. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you. Let me a good TV series. But I mean, one of the first questions that I have for you is I love that in this series, it really talks about the importance of giving second chances and how right. we all deserve them. And I wanted to know for you, for the point that you're at now in your career or even in your personal life, you know, what was that second chance that you were given to lead you to where you are today? I, I, I don't I don't think I've, I've had that, you know, where you're like you messed up and then you have to have your say. I did that a lot in school, a lot of it that you mess up and then you're like, come on, give me another chance and this is your second chance. And you're, you know, you're like, oh, come on, this is it. You're expelled from the school. Like, hey, yeah, come on, por favor, one more chance, you know? And and I had, yeah, because I was a really bad student. So I had that a lot in <laughs> when I was a kid as a student. But lately, I don't know. I, I, I had to think about that. I mean, you got it out of your system in school, so you don't even have to go through that now. <laughs> True. <laughs> But also, too, the thing that I appreciate is that it doesn't, I feel like sometimes when we're watching movies or TV, they kind of glamorize being a lawyer. And I like that we get to see that it's kind of tough running your own business. And I yeah. wanted to know for you, after participating in this series, has your view of the legal system, has it changed after doing this um, TV series? Yes, definitely. Um, first, I really wanted to to focus on that, on on not just making it like, a cool, you know, lawyer, but to be a very, a very vulnerable, you know, because he's dealing with so many things, the, addi the addi uh, addiction and then the wives and the daughter and the case and then the other case, you know, he's dealing with a lot of things. So I really wanted to m emphasize and, and to being like a, like you said, like a real, a real human, you know, a real man dealing with all, the, all these things. And to your second question, um, yes, it did change because at the beginning for me, it was really hard when I was preparing for the role to really understand why defense lawyers, you know, defend somebody that you might know he's guilty, you know? And for me, I, 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 I met with a lot of them. I watched a lot of, uh, you know, trial, the foot, the real footage, like for example, OJ Seems, so I, I, I watched like a lot of, you know, and it, it was a battle for me to like, why, you know, why would defense lawyers try to defend somebody that, you know, he might know that he's guilty or not? Um, but after doing this and after all talking with everybody and watching all these shows, uh, all this footage of, of the trials, uh, yeah, it kind of changed. You know, everybody has a, well, a second chance or, or, or uh, you know, to, uh, you know, to have a saying if, if he's guilty or not, you know, on, um, in front of a jury or, 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 um, or a courtroom. So, so yeah, it kind of changed a little. I just want to say your character was still cool though. He still had swag. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's Mickey Holler, you know, but, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he likes to move, uh, around. Okay. I was like, Mickey didn't been through a lot, but he, he's still cool in my book. Cool yeah. in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I mean, this this series is based on a book. We've already seen another movie, but your character still feels so different watching him in this series. And I wanted to know for you, what was that one important thing that you were like, I want to make this character my own. So what was what was your own swag that you added to this character in the series? Well, like I said, I think I I really focus on that, on the vulnerability and making making him like a, a real human, you know. Um yeah, that, I think that was my 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 take on it because I'm like, how can a guy, you know, be have so many things at stake and everything, and, and still have, you know, I, I really wanted to make him very vulnerable. Um, yeah, and I mean, driving that car, that that's enough, you know. I, I remember watching. <laughs> I remember, you know, every time we we shot on that Lincoln, on the old Lincoln, on the street in L.A. It was very hard to shoot because we were driving and, you know, all of a sudden everybody's like, you know, so I got again, again, because it's such a cool, it just gives you, you don't have to do nothing. You just drive and you're like, you know, you're just cool. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. I just want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I appreciate you so much. And I'm just sending love and light your way. And we're manifesting even more seasons so I can get my binge on. But I hope you have a great day. 
Ah, uh, thank you so much, you too. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Here, wait. Hi, how are all of you doing today? Hello. Hi. I like your background so much. <laughs> Look, I love your TV show so much. You gave me Hi. a good Yes. <laughs> One of the things that I love about this series is how it talks about how second chances are important. We all deserve second chances. And I wanted to know for all of you, you could speak either personally or professionally, what was the second chance that you got that led you to the moment where you're at now in the Lincoln Lawyer? I love this question. It's a good question. The first big job I ever got um, was a pilot for Fox. And I was in New York, I was doing TV commercials, and I thought, oh, I got a TV show, this is so exciting film the TV show, got a call after that the TV show was going further, but I would not be in it anymore. It was devastating. And the next year I got Ugly Betty. So I have, I learned so much in that, in that, um, in that one year. And we've spoken about it before. I, I spent that first job on the set going, what do they want from me? What do they want from me? How am I doing? Do people like me? So that when Ugly Betty came around, I was ready to put my mark on each and every character I ever played, Lorna included, mm -hmm. where at this feeling of if I don't own this, then there's no way I can be proud of the result. So it taught me very early on in my career to not be afraid to walk in and say, here's what I think, here's how I feel about this, this is why I like this character. And it's a really great lesson in just creating your own confidence, even in a business where there are so many opinions about what we're doing. I mm -hmm. love this question. Yeah. I love that. Y'all gotta give me some stories too, because we, we just came swinging out the gate. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, I was a, a child actor. And I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, wow. I grew up as a child actor, so I started when I was four, did my first movie when I was six. And so, to <laughs> Becky's point, there's a lot of times where, like, you're on a show and things are happening and they're like, okay, bye. Oh. And you're kind of left with this, you know, void. And as a child, you know, like, teenager, like, you, it, you become like, like you we were saying, it teaches you to like give everything you have. And when you get a second chance to deliver, like you give 110% every day, all day, and you're relentless about it. Um, but what I love about, you know, the show, um, for Izzy specifically, is that she gets one of the biggest second chances of her life. Um, you know, like she could go to jail for three years and because of Mickey, she ends up having the second chance, not only at not going to jail, but having a job and kind of having stability in the sense of having someone to kind of, you know, support her in her addiction journey. So it's, I mean, you're right. It's a show about second chances. I've never thought about it in that, it in is. that light, yeah. but it's such a great question. Yeah. How about you? Um, uh, well, I, I, yeah, he's I, never I, failed at anything in ever. his life. So he's yeah. never been needed a second no. chance. Yeah, I don't never. know what a second chance he's is. He's like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's certainly, um, I certainly think our roles as, as um, co creative collaborators is to not try and get something right. That's certainly something I've learned, um, whether or not that's a second chance thing. But I think our, our industry by the television, by its very nature, you get another second chance with a second take versus, mm -hmm. the, versus the theatre. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, or, or, or however they're, they're, the director's filming. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the joys I guess we get um, to play these characters, um, uh, and it's much more attractive, I think, for the audience that someone, after they get knocked down, they get back up again. And that's, um, I think America loves people that get second chances. I know I do as an Australian, um, as opposed to laying down and, uh, and yielding to whatever. Mm. Uh, and certainly for to, to Becky's story, um, I think that would be heartbreaking to sort of to, to lose a job and, and, and they don't generally contextualise why you're not involved with it. They don't say you... you, you oh, I was told. I was told I just wasn't very good. I was like, oh, cool. Uh, okay, told next that. time That's I'm going to be great. You're just not funny. Yes, I've been told that. I've been <laughs> you're just told that. simply not funny. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, and I think even in the show, I mean, the relationships with the characters are going through second phases. Lorna was married to Mickey. And now she's not married to him anymore, but she's in his office. So there's this second chance to reframe their relationship and how they can support each other mm. out of the context of their marriage. It has different challenges. She's falling in love with someone else there at the office. What's that like? Creates a second chance for Cisco and Mickey. Like, how are they going to maintain this work relationship when he's in love with her ex? So I think all of it is like every situation is asking us 
to reframe something um, that we maybe thought before. And I think it's like constant second chance. It's chances for growth everywhere. Yeah. Well, look, I know what second chance I'm, I better get is another season. That's what I'm yes, going to that better yes, happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to speak with me. I really appreciate you. And I'm sending so much love and light your way. And I hope you have a great rest of your you day. You feel it. Thank, thank you. you. Sending it right back. Yeah. Take yeah. care. Bye. Thank you.